Hello, Anatomy students. This is Rob Swatsky from Harrisburg Area Community College here at the York campus, and I'm continuing my podcast series on the muscles of the body. This video is part two of the muscles that move the thigh. Our first muscle is the tensor fascia lati, or TFL for short. The TFL is also referred to as the coffee muscle because lati is often mispronounced as latte. The origins of the TFL are on the coxal bone here at the iliac crest and also on the anterior superior iliac spine. This is the smaller belly of the TFL but it's also well known for its tendon, the IT band, the iliotibial band, which inserts onto the lateral condyle of the tibia. The word lati means band, a direct reference to the IT band. The TFL is a hip stabilizer muscle. When it contracts, it tightens up or tenses up the IT band to make it taut. Its actions include abduction and flexion of the thigh at the hip. It also helps to support the knee when walking. Our next muscle we can see best by opening up the abdominal cavity. And located more on the posterior region is the psoas major. This is nicknamed the tenderloin muscle. The psoas major together with the adjacent iliacus muscle makes up the iliopsoas. Both of these muscles have the same action and work together as a pair. The origins of the psoas major are on the transverse processes of the five lumbar vertebrae. Its insertion is on the lesser trochanter of the femur. The major action of the psoas major is flexion of the thigh at the hip, such as when you're bowing down or touching your toes, but it's also flexing the trunk when you sit up from a supine position as you're laying on your back. It also helps laterally rotate the thigh at the hip. The iliacus is the large fan-shaped muscle just lateral to the psoas major. Its origin is on the iliac fossa, the groove on the anterior coxal bone, as well as the iliac crest. Together with the psoas major, the iliacus also inserts onto the lesser trochanter of the femur. The iliacus performs the same actions as the psoas major, flexion and lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip, and flexing the trunk on the hip. The next group of muscles found mostly at the anterior thigh are thigh adductors, helping to bring the leg back to the midline from the abduction position. Adduction is adding the leg back to the body. The uppermost muscle of the thigh adductor group is the pectineus and we can just see a little portion of it medially here peeking out from the model. The origin of the pectineus is on the pubis, the pubic bone, and its insertion is onto the femur, just inferior to the lesser trochanter. Its actions include adduction and flexion of the thigh at the hip. The most anterior of the thigh adductor muscles is the adductor longus. Like the pectineus, it shares an origin of the pubis and it inserts onto the posterior femur at the linea aspera. Like the name suggests, the adductor longus adducts the thigh at the hip but it's also flexing the thigh and laterally rotating the thigh at the hip. The largest of the thigh adductor muscles is only visible superficially here on the model, 
from more of the medial posterior view. This is the adductor magnus. Its origin is on the pubis and ischial tuberosity of the coxal bone. It inserts posteriorly on the femur near the gluteal tuberosity and the linea aspera. Because the adductor magnus is so large, it's able to move the thigh in a variety of ways. It adducts and medially rotates the thigh at the hip. The anterior portion of the magnus is able to flex the thigh at the hip, while the posterior side of the muscle extends and laterally rotates the thigh at the hip. The last of our thigh adductor muscles is an inner thigh muscle called the gracilis. The gracilis is a superficial muscle of the medial thigh, and its name refers to its long, slender shape. Think of a long, slender ballet dancer who is graceful in their performance. Its proximal origin is near the pubic symphysis, the joint between the pubic bones, and it inserts onto the tibia at its medial condyle. The actions of the gracilis include adduction and medial rotation of the thigh at the hip. It's also able to flex the leg at the knee 